Hey everyone, welcome to another mail day video. Today, what did we get in the mail? Let's see. Oh boy. All right, let's go through them really quick. Seagate Stormcaller. I still want to brew this card. I'm trying to find a proper shell for it in modern. I'm sure it has some play. I'm just waiting for the right time to release a deck tech with it. Foiling is pretty cool. I like the art. A lot of blue. I am a sucker for blue. I mean, literally branded around the color. If you're new to my channel, I do foil mail day videos every so often. Every Wednesday is a foiled, usually there's a foiled episode every Wednesday. That's usually the theme for Wednesdays, is foiled Wednesdays. I either do a mail day like this, or I show you a foiled deck that I own, or I open up foiled centric products like collector boxes. Whatever it may be is usually centered around foils. It's also sometimes centered around giveaway videos when I'm doing announcements. Magmatic Channeler is another card I want to build around in modern. So we're already seeing some slight play. I don't think it's found a place just yet, but I think you could have some fun with Magmatic Channeler. I wonder if you could have fun with both of these in the deck. I'm definitely going to try that out. I have not tried it out yet. Up next, I need to finish my playset of Brazen Borrower. So there we go. I was missing two. By the way, I mean, just so you all understand here why I even buy Magic cards and then do play on MTGO. So my philosophy has always been if I'm going to deck tech a video, a uh, deck tech a deck for you, and I'm going to tell you, hey, try out this deck, here are some matches that I post, I'm posting up as well. Seal of Primordium, nice little sideboard card. If I'm going to do all of that, I'm not just doing it so I have some video to put out so I can have content for another week. I want to show you that I'm serious about the decks that I deck tech. I don't just deck tech some random, some random deck that I found. So I do that by buying the cards and owning the deck. That's just been, I mean, I don't really advertise this. I don't think it's something that needs to be advertised. But for those who care, they know that if I'm deck teching any deck tech I've ever deck tech as of the recording of this video, I own every single card in that deck uh, in foil. I mean, the foiling is just an extra because I like foils. Um, the foiling is not a necessity for this. I could, I could just as well buy the normal version of the cards and it would be much cheaper, but I just like foils. So I guess I'm an idiot there. Uh, and buying everything in foil, but nevertheless, the, the concept, the principle is don't deck tech something you wouldn't actually play yourself physically. I mean, I definitely own the decks in MTGO because that's how I show you the matches. So I already have to buy them there, but this is an extra step to show you, you know what? I am serious about this deck. I really think you should try it out. And this is my way of doing it. So these mail days also serve that purpose to kind of show you as proof that, hey, I'm not lying. I'm serious, I buy these cards, I own them, and I seal them away. <laughs> I just seal them away. There we go. And of course, I mean, once Paper Magic makes a return, if it ever does, here's a braid, I was missing one to finish off my playset, so there we go. Not the best condition of braid, but it's okay. It's a braid. So yeah, I mean, if Paper Magic ever comes back, then I will have cards to actually play physically. I've always been a foil guy. Um, ever since I really started being serious about magic, I was had an affinity for foils. So if that means skipping meals to uh, afford them, that's what I do. Well, these are really bright. I like the Kaladesh foiling. And yeah, so again, this is just a reminder. If you ever wonder why, why Delver? Why are you buying all these cards? Most of the time it's because I'm building decks around them and I need to buy the cards to show you that I'm serious about those decks. So I hope for those of you that can appreciate that, you will because I want at least some form of integrity on this channel and for the content that I put out. And peer through the depths. All right. So that was me rambling along while I show you my mail day. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. That really helps me out a lot. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you want to keep up to date with everything that's new on Delver. I usually share video announcements there. More importantly, for a lot of you, giveaways are announced there. The winners are announced there. If you want to be eligible for any giveaways for rares and mythics, I open up on this channel, not me all day videos, other types of videos. You need to be subscribed to me on YouTube. You need to be following me on Twitter. So please go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And then boom, you're automatically eligible for all future drawings. If you are interested in supporting me on Patreon, I would really appreciate it. I want to thank all my current patrons for being there early on, supporting me, giving me ideas. Been invaluable. I can't put a price on the value that you've given me so far in terms of ideas. Uh, and if you want to help me out as well as the viewer of this channel, um, yeah, check out the link in the description. I have some pretty cool tiers set up. If you are if you want guaranteed non-bulk rares and mythics delivered to your door at the end of every year, rares and mythics that I open up on this channel, become a member on Patreon because that's essentially what happens. The longer you're on Patreon, the, long, the more cards you're going to get and some lucky patrons are, are, will randomly be given a big ticket item, a big ticket card as well. So check out all the information. It's all on Patreon. Thanks and have a good one.